How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome back to the Stacks of Pack series. Today we're going to kick off our pack stack with a pack of Japanese Emerald Break. If you haven't been here for a couple of weeks for the Stacks of Pack series, we're now upgraded to three hollows or better before we're going to hit that off button. And if they still had the Rayquaza promotion, this would be a valuable little thing to hold on to. But that's been over for about a year now. So Let's get into the cards, shall we? We've got a Shelgon, Execute, a Pidov, a Ninjask, and a Max Revive, if I had to guess. But I don't know for certain. On to our pack of Bandit Ring. Make sure you guys go down and hit the like button if you are liking the Japanese booster pack opening each and every Monday on this channel. Uh, we've got a, uh, I don't know if it's a Lucky Helmet, maybe? Uh, Cottony, an Ancient Trait Vespaquin, an Eevee, and an Ace Trainer's card. So nothing in the first two packs, but this was bound to happen because we've done very, very well at avoiding non-holographic pulls for a little while on this channel. So getting a few extra packs with dud pulls in it isn't the worst thing in the world, right? Build the suspense a little bit. Uh, Blue Shock is going to give us a Pinsir, Akshu, Sandshrew, Quilava, and a Bridget. Bridget, I'm sure, will be an interesting card to collect once the uh, once the Premium Champion Pack gets released and arrives in my house, which is going to be, you know, tomorrow. Still in search of our first holographic card, we're going to look at a Printplop. Paris, Seeking, Chespin, and an Evil Tall Hollow. Not bad at all. Love how that holographic effect shows up on the new camera, of course. And move those over there. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's right. I was thinking to myself, where on earth is the Legendary Shine Collection pack? Uh, but every uh, every four series of packs, I skipped uh, Double Crisis and Legendary Shine Collection because there are only 15 packs in a booster box, so that's why. Uh, so here's Rage of the Broken Sky is going to give us a Cloister, a uh, Cricketot, Raticate, a Timpole, and an Aegislash Hollow. Nice! Heating up a little bit over here. Hoping to finish strong with the last pull, but we may need a few packs to get there. We shall see how it goes. Move that Aegislash over there with the other Evil Tall. And now we're going to go into X Collection. Starting back over. Alright, I have not seen this artwork in a while. It's a Bisharp, Corsola, a Girder, Dunsparce, and a Skarmory EX to finish things off. Very, very nice. Took us a little bit to warm up to our usual holographic pull uh, selves here, but we finished off with an EX, which is always sweet to do. So we got that Skarmory EX that you see right there. We also got the Age Slash Hollow and the Evil Tall Hollow. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed yourself. Uh, that's probably the best way to do that. And of course, let me know in the comments below what your favorite booster pack is from the X and Y series. Uh, something that you might be looking forward to seeing in another Stacks of Packs episode, in a Booster Box Wednesday episode, or what have you. Uh, but most important of all, uh, this is video number 999, which means that tomorrow, in all likelihood, when Premium Champion arrives, finally, we're going to be at number 1,000. So I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you've been here since the very beginning, or you just stopped by today, and this is the first time you've seen a video on this lovely channel of mine, or at least I think it's mildly lovely. Uh, thank you for the support. Thanks for coming out and showing your support for Japanese cards and for my channel in general. And I hope to see you here tomorrow for something pretty exciting.